Hello everyone out there in YouTube world. This is Jarrett from Jarrett Hux Photography. You can check out all of my work on JarrettHux.com. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer based out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And today I want to talk about cinematic color grading in Lightroom. Now there's all these amazing tutorials out there that show you how to do this correctly, quote unquote, in Photoshop or uh, all these other different co uh, you know, color grading softwares like uh, even in things like video editors and those types of things, DaVinci Resolve and even Final Cut Pro or iMovie. But today I want to talk about how to put those in a very easy and straight to the point type of workflow in Lightroom. Now, one of the biggest things about Lightroom is that you don't have any type of um, layer working so there's no masking there's nothing like that um, this photo is actually a self-portrait of myself and a self-portrait of myself you figure that'd be pretty much self-explanatory wouldn't you but I just felt like I should tell you that it's a self-portrait of myself but um, this photo was already retouched and those types of things I've, I've brightened up the eyes I cleaned up my skin those types of things yes this is uh, retouched I'm that ugly but um, the thing I want to talk about today is this nice little box right here called split toning. Now, split toning is something that's going to give you a very easy to work with and simple color grading. Now, the thing that a lot of people do are um, work with the highlights and shadows inside of color curves. Now, I don't know why people haven't thought about this before in Lightroom, but you can do the same thing through split toning because this works through highlights and shadows. You just have to be very, very conservative with the way you that you use it. Now, the thing with highlights is that you want to go with something like a skin tone. So um, I'm just going to go with something that's kind of an orange color. Now, don't pay attention to really the way this looks yet because we're going to work on that. But um, we're going to go with eh, right about there. That's a that's about a skin color. That's about my skin color. Okay, so with the shadows, something that is a very good place to start would be something in the teal range. Okay, so we're going to go with that, but we're going to go with something kind of deep, even though this looks ridiculous at the moment. Okay, now the reason that you want to start kind of high is because we have the, sh uh, the saturation sliders that we're going to be able to work with uh, below. I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, so we've picked it out of the color pickers. You can also adjust them through the hue slider, but obviously, you know, it's a lot more easy to work with the color picker. So let's go ahead and start here. I like these two colors, but I think this is a little overdone. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this down. I like right about there, maybe a little more. Okay, now the reason I'm going to go a little more is because we also have this awesome little slider right here called balance. Now balance in the middle, if we were to go straight from highlights to shadows, 50-50, this is balance. Okay, so if we go far to the left, it's going to show more of the shadows uh, color and less of the highlights color. Obviously at 100, it's going to show all the shadows and none of the highlights. But let's go back to zero. We're going to work our way back to the highlights. Okay, so shadows obviously should be something that you use in in moderation because this is a very hard color cast so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it up okay and we want to get something that feels a little warmer okay but still gives you that that nice little greenish blue tint in the background to give you that that color grading now let's just go back and forth let's see that before and after Okay, so I'm actually going to do this really quick. That way you can see it. Uh, create a virtual copy. And I'm going to go ahead and reset this. Okay, so you see how this is a little more plain. Um, easy light on my face. But we want to make sure that we have something that, that feels a little more natural in the cinematic type of lighting. Okay, so this was my finished edit, okay? Um, this gives me a little, a little bit less of the orange. Obviously, you can see this is a little warm. So what I would do is I'd go back down here, maybe bring my saturation here down a little bit, okay? This gives me a little bit more of a desaturated tone, but it still keeps that shadow very nice 
and graded. Okay, so um, I see this is maybe a little bit more than I would like, so I'm going to bring that down just a bit. Okay, but going from the uh, non-edited photo here, which is a JPEG, straight into this, it's a big difference. Okay, now the reason I like it so much is because it, it does have that movie quality to it, and obviously this isn't standard color grading to most people's explanation but it is something that is very easy to use and something that will give you an idea if you want to go into color grading so you know if you don't want a teal type of shadow if you don't want a blue shadow or a green shadow or those types of things now you know you know you don't have to go into photoshop and play with it for 45 minutes i've done this in less than five and i understand exactly how it is that i want it to look and i'm happy with the way this looks but if I wanted it to be a little bit more this or that, I'd take it into Photoshop and start putting in masking layers for highlights and shadows. But I hope this has helped you. I hope you can go into Lightroom and start playing with the split toning for something other than trying to make your photos look like Holga prints. So go out there, try this. Uh, let me know what you think. Put something in the comments below. Uh, maybe even share an image or two if you've tried this or if you've already done this in the past and I'm just a dummy and haven't seen anybody else do this. But please, please give me some feedback in the bottom. That way I can know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Thanks so much for watching. If you would, please subscribe to the channel. That way you can see more of the things that I'm putting out. And also check out my work on jaredhux.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.